UCLA is playing the fundamental physical football that Lou Spanos, the defense coordinator, and Jim Moore, the head coach, have been trying to instill since they took over this program. Tonight, they're a little bit quicker to the football, and they're arriving with a fury. Second and 21. And this is Hewitt. Hewitt game tackled after six-yard pickup. You know, last week, we knew how important the game was. UCLA wanted to win the game. But midway through the third quarter, things weren't going so well. And I don't think the kids quit by any stretch, but they had a safety net, right? Last week, they knew they were going to play the title game. They were already locked. It's just a matter of, do we go to Oregon or do we go to Stanford? So, no big deal. But tonight, this is like the flying Melendez, man. There's no safety net, all right? This is all out. And we're seeing the best of UCLA throughout four quarters. Third down at 15 of the 26. Stanford needs to go to the 11 for first down. this game. Petros Papadakis, who's feeling the pressure on the UCLA sideline? I'll tell you what, Jim Mora, Jim Mora's dad is here. It's not a junior senior because they have different middle names, but Jim Mora has been pacing on the sideline all deep. He could make Jello nervous right now. And I asked him, are you okay? He said, this is way worse than coaching. The dad is nervous, guys. He's probably calling the defenses in his head right now, but he wants Jim to call. Third down and eight at the 18. And I like the fact that the officials let him play through that play. I really do because look at them both fighting it out. Go for three. Or it's 86. No flag. Ow. No Oof. One of Didn't crack a rib. With the football. Jump too soon. And they kept the flag in their pocket. I like the fact there was no call on that play. Gotta keep boxing out. Then you see jump forward. This one from 36 yards away. The Chase Thomas. And that's a three yard loss. That's three sacks for Stanford this evening. The most sacks in a season by a back to the team in 15 years. Played this play like Ed Reynolds, the safety would. Falls into coverage. Watch Tarpley 17 right there. He's just going to move to his left with the eyes of Huntley and almost comes up with his third career interception. Thus far, third down and nine for Stanford at the 40. to the ground. Sean Hockley right on the call. Has to throw the flag on that one. Quarterback being protected. So first down. At the 41. Breathing room. No time off for the bridge. 141 to go. Hundley. Hundley. Hundley looking. Now he'll run to dive forward and get to 45. Chase Thomas there. Chase Thomas is a spy on that one. Where do they need to go to get a fair bear in lane? Well, for fair bear, as I said, 48 yards was his long of the year. I think, I think he can kick it up to about 50-52. 35-yard line. Second and six. Unleashes up top. Forward in the intended receiver. And that brings up third down and six. That's a big play by Uswa Amana. 
number 15. Look at him. He's not seeing the football, but he read the eyes of Fourier and the hands of Fourier. When they went up, his hand went up between them to help knock the ball away. Conley has to be more decisive when it comes to tucking it. If he sees a crease, he's got to go and get the first down. Third and six. Here he is. To the sideline. talking uh, post Pac-12, a little bit of analysis, kind of a new bit I'm doing here. I'm kind of assuming with all due respect to whomever may be watching this, but I doubt it. Maybe one or two people. But it's sort of a necessary evil. The legalities are covered, you know, with the, there's more of it first. The uh, legalities of YouTube and all that you know why it has to be done this way but that's why I've decided to put all the highlights at the beginning leave all this boring chit chat in the show for later if you're so inclined to watch it Greg not but but you may learn something I used to run a law firm but I get to do this off camera so I can sit here and bust around light a cigarette <laughs> whatever alright so congrats to Stanford we're gonna have uh, lots of red there in the Rose Bowl how fitting Wisconsin or Nebraska, who, who, by the way, have damn near the same shade of red of all the schools in college football. And then you throw Stanford into the mix. It's going to be kind of cool to see. And, you know, from a purist point of view, since it's kind of maybe an assumption that Nebraska's going to win, But they are playing at Wisconsin. How'd that happen? They're the ones ranked and Wisconsin's not. And maybe the other way around. I, I might not be quite correct on that. But, you know, we already saw UCLA and Nebraska at the Rose Bowl. And so it would have been that again 
and it's like, you know, what are the chances? And that's just kind of something you don't necessarily want to see from a college football fan's point of view. But congrats again to Stanford. That's not easy for me to say because uh, we're not the biggest Stanford booster boys here. All the Stanford fans that gave me flack in the past should appreciate this video. All right, so uh, the rest of the show is coming up. to the hey all you sports fans out there in the tubo sphere welcome to the one man sports rant so, gen 2.0 i am your host will the alternative espn and every other network that we cover sports thrill specializing in college football and basketball and all of the other sporting events in their singular nature such as they may occur why such an emphasis on the college sports i was a linebacker and off guard at uh, the collegiate level, however short-lived, blew up both my ankles, never was able to realize my sports prowess, uh, walked on in both events, but uh, I was a non-traditional student, so I sort of screwed up high school, got my act together, got my butt back into college, and so I had to go that route. Uh, and I still suffer from those ankles. But the point is, I did not utilize my, stay in school, by the way, high school-wise, sports abilities to the best of their abilities because street ball wise you know I got a reputation still back where I was playing so I'm not a spring chicken but I'm not uh, you know going through a midlife crisis either it's the best of both the maturity with still the physical ability and speed to understand it all I guess all right so you heard from uh, except the original balls to the wall it's gonna be a lead into for the rest of college football. By the way, this is the shorty version. This is the post-review show. As introduced by our Pi Kappa Alpha, how sweethearts, U of U chapter, Alpha Tau, giving you props. All right, so what do I mean by all this? You know, if you saw on the timestamp this video, I mean, 10 to 11 minutes thereabouts, this is the post-review show, which is what I mean by those graphics that I included. Much like when you go to Life Steered, yeah, steer, theater, stage, show, and it's kind of sucking, people with class, you don't walk out on it until intermission. So, I understand if I'm talking to only two or five people, because this show may not be your cup of tea, but it is the post-review. You already saw all the clips, you know, to the sporting event that we were discussing about, and I'm not going to get into it uh, more specifically, because again, this is the baseline show, and I'll get into the legalities as to why that is in a moment. I did used to run a law firm, so to those of you still listening, stick around because you'll learn some about the particulars of YouTube. But uh, for the shows, you know, 15 minutes or longer, it's a totally different intro than what I'm doing right now. All right. So why bother doing a show, you may ask? Because the ship has sailed in the sense of just trying to piggyback on somebody else's network and going beyond the five to seven minute mark and just trying to put that up as not necessarily your own but obviously from somebody else you try to give them credit on YouTube I'm sure you may have seen this uh, several times your longer clips say like beyond the four minute mark where all they're showing is like the channel immediately ah, <laughs> that no that does not cover the legalities of it. What are the legalities I'm discussing? It's a little thing called the DCMA, the Digital Copyright Millennium Act. And the key tenets that we adhere to on the OMSR are, as they were hashed out through WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization, fair use standard, minimal use, derivatives, and no money exchange in hands. Of course, that last one's a given, but it's also important, but it's a given here. Because as you can see, the OMSR is a pro bono production. 
we, we adhere strictly to that. And on that note, as well, all the, all images you see on the OMSR, not procured or produced, two minute warning, so I'll go over on time, by the OMSR, were obtained through the public domain. So anybody out there saying, hey, Will, you're kind of using an image that we don't necessarily approve of, fine. Watch my dust, I'll take it down. Excuse me. Readjust it. The only sucky thing about that is you'll lose all the hits when you go to re-upload the same thing, plus the interest wanes on that particular event. But that's not important uh, as opposed to what I just said. All right. And on that note, this show is copyright to the OMSR. Brief video highlights courtesy to the networks already discussed through Will the Alternative Sports Pro. The OMSR does not own these video highlights, but does own all the other original content and the overall concept herein, thereof, therefore, most rights reserved. Alright, so on that note, the two minute warning, we go back to our musical lead into except. The original to the nth degree falls to the wall. Perfect theme music for closing out college football. You got to play balls to the wall to get a winning record, to get to a better bowl, or BCS consideration. All right, so pay attention to the end graphic at the end of the show. VAC chart from the state of California DMV. They will throw the book at you. Worst state in the union, or best, toughest, whatever you want to call it. You get a DUI. You can pause it, freeze frame it. See X amount of drinks, your body type. No X amount of activity. All right, thanks for watching. Later days, and only a few more college football plays.